right, this week we are going to be talking about a thankful heart. Amen. You know what? Whether it's Thanksgiving or whether you even celebrate Thanksgiving where you are or not, we still need to have a thankful heart. So don't be surprised that we have a lot of stuff from Psalms today. But we're not going to stay in Psalms all week because you know what? The whole Bible talks about having a thankful heart. But today we're going to start in Psalms 136. And Psalms 136 is an account of all the things that God had done for his people. And 26 times in just this chapter, we see the repeating verse that says, his love endures forever. And you might think his love endures forever, his love endures forever. Well, this sounds like it's more about love. But you know what? It's really actually more about having a thankful heart. They realized that no matter what had happened, his love endured forever. And David realized he knew everything he'd been through, all the mistakes he'd made, where he missed it. And yet he was so aware that God's love for him would endure forever in spite of it all. And how many of us can say, I thank God in spite of anything I've done, his love for me endures forever. Amen. I can. So this Psalm actually was written and the Levites would sing out part of it, like declaring what God had done. And the people would echo saying, his love endures forever, right? And so some of the things that it talks about is um, he does mighty miracles. He created the earth. He delivered his people. He remembered their weakness. He saved them from their enemies. You know what? I feel like that could easily be our song today. All those things still apply to us right now because you know why? Our God doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He will always love us. His love never changes. And we can be so thankful for that. You know what? All over Psalms, it tells us, have a thankful heart. It says, talk about his goodness, praise him, enter in his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Amen? It tells us to sing. It tells us to dance. Some of you have more rhythm than others. Definitely, I'm not in that category. But you know, I can jump up and down with a smile on my face. And he says, to be thankful, lift our hands, to praise him. So what exactly is a thankful heart? Well, you know what? A thankful heart appreciates life right now, the present moment. A thankful heart counts its blessings. It notices the simple pleasures. You know, it doesn't have to be a big, huge thing to be thankful. You know, I just celebrated a birthday. And you know what? It wasn't like this big, flashy celebration and grand gesture. It was a whole bunch of little things, just a bunch of little things that made my day so special. You know, are you recognizing that, you know what, you already have an abundance of blessings around you. Acknowledge that, the abundance that you already have. Because you know what, the most beautiful way to start and end every day is with a thankful heart. Because why? A thankful heart is a happy heart.